Hi, it's John Cunningham and Rob Matheson from Cunningham's. Today, we want to talk to you about our market minutes on an interesting subject. What's, what are we going to talk about, Rob? Well, John, I thought today we would talk about something that's relevant. Um, as you're aware, over the last couple of weeks and months, we've dealt with fires and floods. And I think it's probably that word insurance. And as much as we harp on to our landlords about having the correct insurance, I think I'd just like to get your three top tips to make sure you're insured. Yeah, look, I think that's the thing. It's like we, we, we look at what's happened. It's just disaster after disaster. And, um, you know, it, it's one of those things where, yes, we constantly talk to our people about them, but until something happens, they go, oh, it's not going to happen to me. So the first big one is risk, actually understanding risk. Yeah. Uh, understanding how to either minimise risk or to mitigate risk. And insurance is about mitigating that risk. So for our landlords and our tenants particularly, we've just been surprised at how many um, have been uninsured and yeah. have suffered those, 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 that risk has come to reality. Yeah. So therefore, when you've got contents insurance um, and you make sure that's both for the landlord and the tenant, you're actually minimising that risk completely. And you've got coverage that you can have that, okay, uh, it's, it's covered, I'm good. But most people think, oh, that $300 is just too much. That $300 yeah. is the thing that could save their lives in so many ways. Um, from all that horrible stuff they've got to go through. The number two thing is the consequences. Now, the consequences of not being insured. Um, when you look at things such as for a landlord, not having a, an adequate building policy that has the right uh, public liability or, or personal liability insurance on it, comes at a huge, huge risk. And the consequence of that is, is very, very nasty court action, uh, they could lose their home, they could do all kinds of things just by not having the right level of insurance. The same thing applies for tenants, if they're not having that contents insurance to cover um, their uh, personal goods, but also their personal liability as well within that property. So we really are now going on a bit of a mission uh, yep. to make sure that people are covered. Because the third thing is peace of mind. Yeah, when you think exactly. about peace of mind, for, uh, for both landlords, tenants, homeowners in general. And it's interesting, one of the first things we ask a, a property seller is, is your insurance up to date? Uh, because when people are invited onto their property, uh, they're actually at risk. Yep. And the risk is on the owner, if they're not insured, if there's an injury, a personal injury, and that sort of thing. So insurance is something we take really seriously, and we want people to have peace of mind. So for us, it's something we're just going to actually go on a mission with now to make sure this is covered, because what we've seen it's not something we want to see too many people go through. That's right, yeah. We also noticed there was a, so many people surprised by where their actual insurance was up to. Yeah. Um, so that's, a, as you said, it's a mission of ours to make sure that we're 100% insured across our, all our landlords and tenants. Well, I came across one client years ago when I asked that question, they found they've been uninsured for over 20 years because they kept thinking the other person had renewed the insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's something that we want to make sure that people really understand what it's about. There'll be more on our blog, uh, but thanks for listening and stay tuned to our next Market Minutes.